Jesus Babauta lived in Sumai when his life and all the lives of Chamorros living on Guam changed dramatically. It was the beginning of World War II in the Pacific. Just hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Japanese forces attacked Guam. It was on this day that Babauta, a young boy, was forced to become a man, faced with the brutality of war. They don't bomb any other place but Sumai. The standard OU, yeah. that's where they bomb. And when they, and, and, and when they bomb the standard OU, because they're looking at the plane, you know, they're very nice plane, the Japanese, they, we, they don't know. They don't know uh, what the war is until when they drop the bomb in standard oil, say, oh, we're in war. And who's fighting, you know? Nobody's fighting, only the Japanese drop the bomb in the standard oil. Then right in there, they drop the, another bomb right in the Pan American. Then they drop another bomb up there, the Marine Barracks. Then the people, they're all over the place, they run. And they never come back to that. So when they land, Japanese land, they register, you know, they register the people, then they tell you to work, to work for the Japanese. I work in the uh, air base, uh, down there at uh, Rory Point. There's an air base in there, the Japanese build up that with a uh, hand and one bulldozer. I was uh, 14 years old. They let you work. 14 years old, they let you work uh, on that time. So the Japanese don't care. You're not that, that they work, but they don't give us any food. When we're working for the, you know, for the airfield down there, it was because I was working. Boy, it was a lot of times the Japanese, they say, Hayaku to me because I'm too slow, because the wheelbarrow is heavy. And the Hayaku, so I said, okay, thank you, because they don't, they don't kill me. Babauta and his family were told to leave their home and relocate to Menengan during the time where the people of Guam are going hungry and scavenging for anything to eat. Babauta goes with his cousin Tommy Camacho to look for food. However, during this venture out resulted in their capture by Japanese forces. Babauta along with his cousin are brought to Fena. While he was being held there, Babauta overheard a conversation between the Japanese soldiers. I heard the Japanese that they're going to kill us, right? You say that Jembu and a Toming Sino, Jembu, Imma, Kumbang, means Imma today, Kumbang means tonight, to kill us. After hearing this conversation, Babauta goes to his cousin and plan for their escape. Once they got away from certain death, Babauta and his cousin made their way back to Menengan. Once there, Japanese soldiers took him and his cousin again and brought them up to the Jotnya church where the Japanese soldiers were gathering Chamorro people to march them up to Jigo. Babauta and Kamacha were told to march from Jotnya to Jigo at 4 o'clock in the morning. As they were crossing the bridge at Pago Bay, there was a delay at the front of the line. After we crossed the bridge over to the right, the Japanese as holler, Hayaku, Hayaku. So, Tommy said, uh, wait a minute. So the Japanese went up to see how come it's a uh, delay up there, no? My cousin grabbed my hand and said, let's go this way. We got to get away from the Japanese. We start walking, somebody holler, ho, oh, who goes there? And uh, Tommy said, uh, Samuru. So we went out there and four or five American guys. One is a radio man. So the guy asked Tommy, he said, where are the Chamorro? He said, down there, he's pointing down at Meningon, you know. He said, uh, okay, uh, we like to take the Chamorro out. So the colonel asked us uh, how long will it take us from there to down to the uh, camp. He said, I'm going to give you four million to go. So we run down there. In the commission, Phoenix Panginino was the commissioner at that time. So the two Japanese that came out from telling the commissioner to tell all the people to come out to get some ration, which is hand grenade. We were going down the hill and uh, Marianne Sablan uh, holler, she holler, a Japanese when we coming down the hill. Japanese then, she said, oh no, it's an American coming down the hill. And that American guy was a good shooter. He, sh he killed that two Jap in the other side. 
on the camp. That part of the island was liberated that day and many lives were saved. Babauta has lived through the reality of war. As a result, he had the motivation and determination to serve his country. I like the American uh, way of life. Then. I joined the Navy and I joined the Marine uh, two times. <laughs> I put in four years in the Navy, then I get out and I joined the Marine. Babauta, now a retired veteran, remains patriotic to the country that saved him. For Joint Region Marianas, I'm Leah Clavea.